A court in Los Angeles has sentenced Harvey Weinstein to 16 more years in prison. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're examining the most infamous and widely known celebrities who, at the time of this video's publication, are incarcerated in jail. We do begin tonight with singer R. Kelly, sentenced to 30 years behind bars. Kid Creole. After rising to fame as a member of Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, Nathaniel Glover, better known as Kid Creole, stepped away from the music business as the group's success faltered. Now it's my turn, so understand that I'm the Kid Creole and I'm a ladies man. In 2017, then working as a handyman in Manhattan, New York City, Creole spoke to an unhoused man named John Jolly. The 55-year-old victim pronounced dead at Bellevue Hospital. First spotted on CCTV, the duo then moved out of view. At this point, Creole fatally stabbed Jolly. The former musician claimed he stabbed him after Jolly made advances towards him. However, the criminal system didn't agree with his claim of self-defense. In 2022, Creole was found guilty of first-degree manslaughter and received 16 years in jail. Upon release, he'll undergo a further five years of supervision. Mel Hall for over a decade, Hall played his trade for several MLB teams, such as the Chicago Cubs, Cleveland Indians, and the New York Yankees. Hand it to right field, the ball game is over! Three run hover, the Yankees win! He even played in Japan before hanging up his bat in 1996. However, none of that mattered in 2007, when he was arrested in Louisville, Texas for a sexual assault. Over time, more women came forward with their experiences with Hall, which were committed when they were minors. In one case, Hall integrated himself into a family's home on the promise he wanted to marry their daughter. And he not only moves in, he and Chaz move into her parents' bedroom, and they move into her old bedroom. He had used his sporting celebrity to prey on victims. In 2009, Hall was found guilty on several counts and was sentenced to 45 years in jail. C. Murder As a member of the hip-hop group True, Corey Miller, better known as C. Murder, enjoyed success with them as well as releasing his own work. Murder murders in the heart of every killer. Take a look into his eyes as evidence of a homicide. In the 90s especially, his albums were regularly high on the charts. However, in 2002, all that vanished when C. Murder was arrested for the killing of a teenager named Steve Thomas. On top of receiving a 10-year sentence for a separate attempted murder charge, in 2009, the musician was found guilty of Thomas's killing and sentenced to life. C. Murder had contested the charge and has appealed unsuccessfully several times over the years. In 2018, Two witnesses recanted their testimonies and claimed they had been forced to give them by the police. In an affidavit, Kenneth Jordan said Jefferson Parish deputies pressured him to lie by holding an unrelated charge over his head. However, in 2023, C. Murder's sentence was upheld by a judge, Tammy Lynn Sitch. In her heyday, there wasn't a more famous woman in professional wrestling than Sitch. Known as Sonny in the WWE in 1996, the wrestling manager became the most downloaded celebrity online. In 2011, Sitch was rewarded for her legacy by the WWE by being inducted into their Hall of Fame. However, away from the ring, Sitch has regularly had run-ins with the legal system. That was 39-year-old former pro wrestler Tamara Sitch in court this morning after being arrested for the fourth time for harassing a former boyfriend. It got significantly worse in 2022. While driving under the influence in Volusia County, Florida, Sitch crashed into the back of another car, taking the life of the driver. Julian Lassiter. Police say Sitch was four times the legal limit. Prosecutors say this was her fourth DUI in 10 years and she was driving on a suspended license. In 2023, after pleading no contest, Sitch was sentenced to 17 and a half years in jail. Afterward, she'll undergo eight years of probation. I know how it feels, how it hurts, how it tears your heart out. And for that, I'm truly, truly sorry. Todd and Julie Chrisley. 
After the success of 2014's reality show Chrisley Knows Best, the family began spawning a media empire with several spin-off shows. But not long after the rain began, it started to fall apart. Start packing fast. Why? Do you have any idea how many charges is going to be brought against us for putting something like that, that dumb, out in the streets? After being indicted on several charges earlier, in 2022, Todd and Julie found themselves in court over allegations of bank fraud and tax evasion. In one accusation, the duo had seemingly given banks false documents when applying for loans worth over $30 million. Here are individuals that have lived this lavish lifestyle in the public eye and are still lying and stealing to get it. The husband and wife team, alongside their accountant, Peter Tarantino, were found guilty. And it was heartbreaking. And if I say something, you mark it in your book because it'll be the truth. So I welcome that lawsuit. Todd got 12 years, Julie received seven, and Tarantino went down for three. In 2024, after an appeal, Julie is set to be resentenced for her role while she's in the custody of U.S. Marshals. Tory Lanez Bursting onto the music scene in 2016, Daystar Shamuel Shua Peterson, better known as Tory Lanez, was carving out a successful career as a singer and rapper with a string of top-selling albums and singles. Everyone falls in love sometimes. However, in 2020, Lanes was arrested in Los Angeles, California for carrying a concealed weapon after violence took place at a house party. Soon after, Megan The Stallion publicly stated he had shot her multiple times. So I looked down at my feet and I'm like, oh my God, like I'm really bleeding. While Lanes denied the accusation, even releasing an album nearly entirely about the allegations and allegedly endorsing a smear campaign against Megan, he was still arrested. In 2023, after the Canadian was found guilty on several counts, he was sentenced to 10 years imprisonment. Jen Shah from the first season of The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City in 2020, Shaw highlighted her lifestyle and marriage to the University of Utah's football coach, Sharif Shaw. We basically have to FaceTime a lot. It's kind of like a FaceTime marriage if that was a thing. Yet, in the space of a year, her growing reputation in reality TV became infamous for all the wrong reasons. Even recorded during the show, Shaw was accused of money laundering and wire fraud, which she was arrested for. No, I'm freaking out. She's with her husband, you said? Wait, Jen? If they were asking about Jen. Shah allegedly targeted elderly and vulnerable people, claiming to offer business services in exchange for hefty fees. In 2023, after pleading guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud, Shah was sentenced to six and a half years in jail. At the sentencing hearing Friday, Jen apologized to her victims, admitting, my actions have hurt innocent people. However, due to being a model prisoner, her sentence has been reduced multiple times. Ryan Grantham Following his first screen acting role in 2007, Grantham should have had a long career in the industry, especially after performances in Supernatural, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, I, Zombie, and Riverdale. He told the police he did it to protect me, but it wasn't him. However, that career was forever broken in 2020. Grantham, with a desire to attack Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, fatally shot his own mother in Squamish, British Columbia, to apparently spare her from seeing his planned assassination. He then recorded his confession. On his way to Trudeau in a car filled with weapons, Grantham changed his mind, eventually giving himself to the police. He's extremely remorseful for his actions, and um, he's doing everything he possibly can to make amends for them. In 2022, the former actor pleaded guilty to his crime and was sentenced to life in prison, with possible parole after 14 years. Amy Locaine Known for her work in the sitcom Spencer and the soap opera Melrose Place, Locaine took on various film roles in the 90s. I'm sorry to get you locked up, but tonight, well, you were the coolest date I ever had. But Crybaby, who was that girl? Why didn't you tell me you already had a lady friend? However, by 2005, she retired from screen acting beyond a couple of short films. In 2010, any hopes of a comeback vanished when Locaine was arrested after speeding and driving under the influence. 
resulting in her crashing and taking the life of Helene Seaman. I drove home while I was intoxicated and the consequences were devastating. In 2013, she was sentenced to three years and was released in 2015. Locaine says she's been sober since the accident. I just know I made the biggest mistake. However, the outrage over the lenient sentence resulted in appeals, leading to Locaine being sentenced to five years in 2019. After she appealed, she was resentenced to eight years in 2020 and is due to be released on parole at the end of 2024. I made a mistake. I have done everything that I can do to not be the person who does what I did. Ian Watkins. Like many of us, if you were a teenage emo in the early 2000s, then you likely listened to Welsh band Lost Prophets. However, those CDs were quickly disposed of in 2012. After several arrests that year for possessing illegal substances, a search was conducted at lead singer Watkins' home by the police. They discovered obscene content on his computer involving minors, and later, there was evidence he had assaulted some. There is no doubt in my mind that Ian Watkins has exploited his celebrity status. Any hope by fans that the officials were mistaken was dashed in 2013 when Watkins pleaded guilty to several counts. He was sentenced to 29 years in jail, plus an additional 10 months for possessing a phone in his cell. The mothers of his two victims received 14 and 17 years for aiding him. They can't be named to protect their children's identities. Gary Glitter With sparkly costumes and big hair, Glitter was one of the faces of the glam rock genre of music, providing him with a string of hits. Yet his legendary status was destroyed when he was sentenced to jail for possessing indecent material of minors in 1999. I've served my time. I want to put it all behind me. After his release, Glitter traveled around the world. In 2006, he was convicted in Vietnam for assaulting youth. After his release, he reluctantly returned to the UK. In 2015, as part of Operation U-Tree, Glitter was found guilty of historical cases of assault against minors and sentenced to 16 years. In court, he is referred to by his real name, Paul Gadd, but the judge told the jury, you almost certainly know him better as Gary Glitter. While he was released in 2023, Glitter broke his license terms after allegedly looking at offensive material on his phone and was recalled to jail. Michael Jace, best known for his work as Officer Julian Lowe in The Shield, in a minor role in Forrest Gump, Jace's life was set to change in 2014 when his wife April requested a divorce. Rather than accept her decision, Jace fatally shot her at their home in Los Angeles, California, when she returned after collecting their kids from baseball practice. April Jace was 40 years old. The couple had been mar married nearly 11 years. He planned to injure her and even taunted April over her passion for running during the attack. But instead, Jace took her life. Shortly after, he called 911 to tell them what he'd done. We do also know that neighbors, some other neighbors, called 911 after they heard gunfire inside the home. In 2016, the disgraced actor was found guilty and sentenced to 40 years to life in jail. Suge Knight As the co-founder of Death Row Records, Suge Knight played a significant role in shaping the West Coast hip-hop scene. But just as his influence grew, so did his run-ins with the law. In 2015, while on the set of the NWA biopic Straight Out of Compton, Knight got into an altercation with two men, Terry Carter and Clee Bone Sloan. Shug Knight has turned himself into authorities after a deadly hit and run accident. He is alleged to have run over both of them with a pickup truck, killing Carter and leaving Sloan with severe injuries. Authorities initially charged Knight with murder and attempted murder, but he later pleaded no contest to involuntary manslaughter. In 2018, he was handed a 28-year prison term and will be eligible for parole in 2034.
there's consequences for everything that we do, you know, and he reacted inappropriately. Joe Exotic. Controversial zookeeper and businessman Joe Exotic gained international recognition when he was featured in the wildly popular Netflix series Tiger King. Among other things, the show depicted the intense rivalry between Exotic and animal rights activist Carol Baskin. The relationship between the two was so strained that Exotic reportedly paid hitmen to have Baskin murdered. Additionally, he was accused of killing five tigers and selling others across state lines in violation of federal wildlife laws. In 2019, a federal jury returned guilty verdicts on 17 charges of animal cruelty and two counts of attempted murder for hire. The former owner of the Greater Winniewood Animal Park was found guilty on all counts Tuesday. Exotic was sentenced to 22 years in prison. After appealing his conviction, his sentence was reduced by just one year. That reduces his punishment by just a year, despite pleas from the 58-year-old for leniency. Danny Masterson. That 70s show actor Danny Masterson had faced sexual assault allegations since March 2017, with the incidents dating as far back as the early 2000s. Masterson denied the claims, but was dropped by his agency and fired from the Netflix sitcom The Ranch. Just like Masterson, some of his alleged victims were also members of the Church of Scientology, and they reported being harassed by the institution after coming forward. He and the church systematically stalked, harassed, invaded their and their family's privacy. Masterson's first court case ended in a mistrial, but in May 2023, a second jury found him guilty of two of the three criminal counts he was facing. In September, he was sentenced to 30 years to life behind bars. In his new trial, after the guilty verdicts came in, Masterson was immediately handcuffed and sent to jail. Elizabeth Holmes. The healthcare technology company Theranos was founded in 2003 by Elizabeth Holmes with the promise of revolutionizing blood testing. She had just dropped out of Stanford and had a grand vision to revolutionize healthcare. Holmes raised nearly a billion dollars from investors on claims that her seemingly exceptional machine, the Edison, could run multiple tests using only a few drops of blood. It was later revealed, however, that Theranos' technology did not work as claimed and the company knowingly defrauded investors. In June 2018, Holmes was charged with multiple counts of wire fraud and conspiracy to commit wire fraud. Now facing up to 20 years in prison, Holmes has pleaded not guilty. Following a highly publicized trial, Holmes was found guilty of four criminal counts and was sentenced to over 11 years in prison. She began serving her term in May of 2023. As she entered a Texas federal prison, it's where she'll spend tonight and potentially the next 11 years. Josh Duggar. The TLC reality series, 19 Kids and Counting, focused on the lives of Michelle and Jim Bob Duggar and, as the title suggests, their 19 children. The show was a huge success until its abrupt cancellation in 2015, following some pretty shocking revelations. TLC canceled the show in 2015 when Josh Duggar came under investigation. The eldest child, Josh Duggar, admitted to inappropriate behavior against underage individuals, including some of his own sisters. However, as the statute of limitations had passed, Duggar didn't face any criminal charges. Statue of limitations prevented any potential charges from being filed. In 2021, Duggar was arrested for receiving and possessing explicit material involving minors. He opted to fight the charges in court and was ultimately found guilty. With a nearly 13-year prison sentence handed down on him, Duggar's earliest possible release date is 2032. After Josh's guilty verdict was announced, the couple wrote on their website, nobody is above the law. Jared Fogel. For 15 years, Jared Fogel was the face of restaurant chain Subway. Fogel claimed that a diet consisting mostly of Subway sandwiches had helped him lose nearly 250 pounds in one year. Later, big guy. In 2015, however, his partnership with the franchise came to an end. That year, Fogel's home was raided by the FBI, where they uncovered evidence that he had distributed and received obscene images and videos of minors. FBI and state police raiding Jared Fogel's mansion Tuesday. He also admitted to traveling across state lines to engage in unlawful conduct 
with an underage individual. Fogel faced a possible 50 years in prison, but after accepting a plea deal, he was sentenced to 15 years and 8 months. He is eligible for early release in 2029. He now is sentenced to more than 15 and a half years in prison. R. Kelly. Throughout most of his career, disgraced R&B star R. Kelly had been dogged by numerous allegations of sexual misconduct. Protesters calling for police action and an end to producing and playing R. Kelly's music. The claims first came to light in 2002. When Kelly was arrested after a leaked video seemingly showed him engaging in inappropriate contact with a minor. He was, however, acquitted of those charges in 2008. It would take more than a decade for his day of reckoning to eventually come. Today, they finally got justice. In 2019, the Lifetime docuseries Surviving R. Kelly, which featured testimonies from some of his accusers, brought the case back to the spotlight. Kelly was arrested soon after and faced multiple federal and state criminal charges. Altogether, he is serving a 31-year sentence with a release scheduled for December 2045. A federal judge in Brooklyn sentenced singer and convicted sexual predator R. Kelly to 30 years in prison. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Harvey Weinstein Harvey Weinstein's Hollywood empire crumbled in 2017 when the New York Times and the New Yorker revealed numerous allegations of sexual harassment and assault against him. In October 2017, Harvey Weinstein finally lost control of the story. The revelations ignited the Me Too movement, which saw many individuals come forward with their own experiences of misconduct. In total, more than 100 women accused Weinstein of either harassing or assaulting them, with some dating as far back as 1980. The prosecutors had called Weinstein's criminality uh, something that had been sustained over the course of many, many years. As a result, multiple criminal charges were unveiled against the producer in New York and Los Angeles. In 2020, he was sentenced to 23 years in the New York case followed by a 16-year sentence in the Los Angeles case the next year. However, the New York conviction was overturned and he will face a retrial on those charges. Harvey Weinstein, a 70-year-old man in very poor health, just found out that he'll be spending the rest of his natural life behind bars. Which celebrity case of them getting a lenient sentence was the most egregious for you? Nicole Richie, Vince Neil, Matthew Broderick, or someone else? Let us know below. They got some 911 calls from some drivers who say that they saw someone driving the wrong way on a Burbank freeway.